In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a healthy boundary for you and for those around you without coming off as mean or narcissist. So stick around to find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where every Wednesday I share self-improvement tips to help you live a more fulfilled life. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to create a healthy boundary for yourself. Now, if you're trying to create a healthy boundary for yourself, then this video is sort of a checklist so that you know exactly what to include in creating that healthy boundary. So the first thing that I'm sharing is to understand that it is not your responsibility to fix others listen there are a lot of broken people in the world broken as a result of their past experience broken as a result of their upbringing broken as the result of where they lived and the experiences of where they lived and sometimes those people can become toxic for the people they live around or the people in their life so if you're trying to create a healthy boundary for yourself you have to understand that it is not your responsibility neither is it your job to fix a broken person and don't let anyone make you feel like it is your responsibility because it is not and the moment you start to feel like it is your responsibility to fix someone who's broken either emotionally mentally psychologically however they are broken then you create room for that person to take advantage of your kind heart of your empathy for them you know and so if you're trying to create a healthy boundary for yourself then you have to come to the realization that it is not your responsibility to fix anybody so the second thing to consider when creating a healthy boundary for yourself is that some people are going to get angry with your decision and it is okay it is okay that everyone is not going to agree with your decision or the choices you have opt to make for yourself for as long as you know it is the best choice for the moment it is the best choice for the situation whatever it is and the right choice for your mental health for your happiness for your peace of mind for as long as it is something that you're happy with you're happy with that decision and you've made it for yourself then it is totally okay if people around you are not happy with it because the moment you start to consider or think so much about how your decision is making other people angry or uncomfortable then you're going to be stuck not even making decisions at all or you're going to be making decisions that suit other people instead of yourself and that way you are neglecting yourself and putting other people first there is nothing selfish about putting yourself first okay your happiness should come first before you can try to make other people happy because you really really cannot give from an empty cup you cannot you cannot make other people happy if you're not happy. Whatever that makes you feel fulfilled should be a priority when you're creating a healthy boundary. That way you are not too influenced by people's reaction or people's opinion of you. Now the third thing to consider when creating a healthy boundary for yourself is to understand that it is okay to say no. A lot of people feel like saying no means you're a bad person. Saying no doesn't make you a bad person. For as long as you know you're not just saying no to say no. You say no because there are other things that are more present, more important for you to do at a time when you could be doing something for somebody else. It's not wrong to say no. It's not wrong to say no. It is totally fine to say no. And if you're trying to create a healthy boundary, then you must become comfortable with saying no because if you're too quick to say yes if you always say yes to everyone's demands and everyone's request then you open yourself up to be manipulated to be used to be taken advantage of people will no longer you know put in effort to take care of their own situation or take care of their own problem because they know well i have this person and whenever i call upon them they will answer or whenever i ask them for this they're gonna say yes to it get comfortable with saying no otherwise people are going to be asking for your eyes and your nose and your head and your ears and you can't even say no to that even though you need them you need all of those parts of your body to function as a human you're not going to say no to it because you're not comfortable with saying that so get comfortable with saying no if you are trying to build a healthy boundary for yourself 
Now, the fourth thing to consider when creating a healthy boundary for yourself is to understand that it is your responsibility to make yourself happy. Now, listen, I know there are so many things that we could base our happiness on and there are so many things that, you know, brings us happiness like our partners, our kids, you know, our job, our career, whatever it is. You know, there are so many other things that brings us happiness. However, if you want to create a healthy boundary for yourself, then you must know that you can never truly, 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 truly place your happiness on someone else or totally rely on someone else to be happy all the time. Not to say that other things can make you happy, not to say that other people can make you happy, but at the very core of your happiness, at the very core of the things that make you happy, let yourself be number one. Now, the fifth thing to consider when creating a healthy boundary for yourself is to understand that you have a right to your own feelings. You have the right to react a certain way. You have the right to feel what you want to feel. Okay. And just like anyone else, you have that choice. Okay. So don't let anyone tell you, well, you're being too sensitive or you're not being too sensitive. React to the situation the way you want to react, the way you feel comfortable to react and the way it pleases you to react. React that way because it is your feelings at the end of the day. It is your emotions and no one should be able to tell you how to utilize that emotion or that feeling. And this is important because if you let other people predict how you should feel or how you should react, then you are like you're giving up yourself for everyone else to decide for you how you should be or what you should be or how you should react. But if you prioritize how you express yourself and how you choose to express yourself, then it means you're firm and you know what it is you want. And that message is sent across to everyone around you that, listen, this person has a mind of their own. So you can't tell them how to feel or what to say or how to react or how not to react. So it sends a strong message that you know yourself and that way people will not be so keen to taking advantage of you or manipulating your reaction in different situations. But the moment you put that out in the air or put that out for everyone else to decide how you're going to feel or how you're going to react in certain situations, then they see you as a gullible or a naive person that can be pushed around and that is not a good way to put yourself out there, right? So. If you want to create a healthy boundary, make sure you understand and you are in total control of how you feel and how you want to express your feelings or your emotions in any situation. So let me know in the comments, what does a healthy boundary mean for you and how are you creating or how did you create a healthy boundary for yourself? Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful and share with a loved one so they can learn a thing or two. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and make sure your bell notification is turned on so that you get notified when I upload a new video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.